well in this video uh, we are going to discuss the generalized power rule or inner function rule this rule is used when the function has a whole power for example look at this function y is the function of x and it has a whole power n then to take the derivative of such functions we apply a generalized power rule or we can call it the inner function rule and the derivative of such functions can be taken as this is equal to applying power rule on the whole function which is equal to n time f of x whole power n minus 1 again multiplied by function inside the brackets So this is the formula for generalized function rule. Before further discussion, you guys are requested to like this video, subscribe to Shaw Academy, and press the bell icon to get regular updates of this channel. To understand this rule, let us take an example. This is the example. But again, note that we will apply the rule of simple derivative because we have the independent variable only one, that is x. Y depends upon x. So according to the above given formula, the generalized product rule can be applied as change in y divided by change in x and this is equal to, according to this formula, power should be multiplied with the coefficient. The coefficient is 1, 3, x square minus x, whole power is reduced by 1 multiplied by the derivative of the function inside the brackets which is equal to 3x square minus x. So it can further be expanded as this is equal to 3 times 3x square minus x whole power is 2 now and the derivative of 3x square is 2 to be multiplied with 3, it becomes 6. Power should be reduced by 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, which we don't write. And the derivative of x is 1. So this is the answer. This is how can we apply the generalized function rule. If you want, you can further expand this by expanding this formula and multiplying 3 times the expansion of this formula times x x minus 1 otherwise this is ok to this end. So this is how to apply generalized function uh, rule to take the derivative of simple functions. Thank you. Thanks for watching.